of the registered voters in a certain community 54% are women and 46% are men so let us say there are n registered voters totally so 54% are women which means the women are 0.54 n and the remaining 46% are men so men are 0.46 n so these are the total number of women and men voters in this n now among them 68% of registered women voters so of the 0.54 n 68% and 62% of the registered men voters, which is 62% of the 0.46N. So we have a situation like this. Let's draw a box. So let this row be women and this row be men. And What is the other criterion? They voted in the last election. So, this 68% of women and 62% of men voted in the election. So, uh, this would be they voted and not voted. Right? So, now we try to fill these boxes. So, of these 0.54n, 68% voted, which means this box would be 0.54n into. 0.68 and this is equal to 0.3672 n so this is the number of women who voted and of that 0.54 and the remaining 32 percent haven't voted so that would be 0.54 n into 0.32 which will give us 0.1728 and for men also we have similar logic so of these 0.46 n 62 percent that is 0.62 have voted so this will give us 0.2852 n and the remaining 38 percent would be 0.46 n into 0.38 which is equal to 0 0.1748 n so we now have the total number of people who voted and did not vote and also their gender wise split so now we can try to answer these questions a woman who voted in the last election so if a registered voter from this community is randomly chosen find the probability that this person is a woman who actually voted and for that the denominator is clearly the total number of registered voters which is n and the numerator would be the number of women who voted which is 0.3672 n and these two cancel so the probability is 0.3672 and the probability that this person is a man who did not vote and for that we are looking at men who did not vote which is this value and thus this would be 0.1748 n divided by n n and n cancel so we have this probability 0.1748 and then lastly we are looking for the conditional probability that this person is a man given that this person voted so for that we have to look for the only the voted cases which would be this plus this this would be the sum of these two would make the denominator so we would have 0.3672 plus 0.2852 in the denominator n and n and the numerator would be the number of such men which would be 0 0.2852 This is coming out to be roughly 0.43715. So, yeah, this value is 0.43715. This is the conditional probability.